Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? I am back with another video. I know I've been absent for a little while guys. I do apologize. As you guys know that have been following me for a couple years, I am getting into my busy season. Therefore, video content slows down just a wee 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 bit. But I'll tell you, Chris, he's been slacking just as much as me. But all in all guys, you know what's coming up. The Kingfish Run, especially in the Tampa Bay fall. What, 72 degree water temperature, brings in some beautiful mackerel, some big old Spanish, some big old kingfish. I'm gonna show you how to easily set up a wire or a hay wire twist uh, on a light wire with a stinger rig. This little rig will catch your kingfish, prevent you from getting bit off. So let's jump in, take a closer look. All right, so the few supplies that you're gonna need for this simple tutorial is gonna be a little uh, wire leader. 40 to 60 pound liter is uh, what I like to use. Here's some uh, tournament grade wire. And then I have a number four. It's gonna be a number four treble for your stinger. You can use that, make sure it's extra strong. For this particular rig, I'm gonna be using it, uh, building it for a thread fence. So I like the number one aught or two aught owner hook. You can use Gamagatsu, Mustad, whatever you choose. And then go ahead and do about a 60 to 80 pound swivel to end it. Now let me go ahead and show you what you're going to be tying today is called the haywire twist. It's a very simple way uh, to rig this up and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's take a look. Alright, go ahead and take and run your wire. Put your number four treble on here. So here's the key with this guys. You want to bend over the wire and then what you want to do is make sure you're twisting them simultaneously together. So you don't want to wrap one wire around another wire, so to speak. They need to be twisting together at the same time. And then all you really need to do is about three or four wraps. All right, so once you do that, it should look like that. What I like to do is just straighten up the main wire. And then what you want to do is what they call barrel rolls. And this is going to tidy it up, make it look nice. And honestly, all you need is about four good wraps there as well. All right, that should be about right there. Now here's a little trick guys, you don't want to cut this wire because what happens is it leaves a sharp edge, one that's going to prick you, and that's never any fun. So what you do is you create a little handle here, see how I made a little L shaped handle, and then what you do is you just rock that either back and forth and you'll see it only took that one pull and it cut cleanly. So if you try to rub that, it's not going to prick you, it's not going to poke, it's going to be perfect. So that's the stinger. Now we got to tie on the main hook. So the next step is to add your J hook. Now the J hook is usually what I use to hook the thread fan in the nose. Now, how do you place that on the wire is dependent on the size bait that you think or anticipate on using. So typically five to six inches is perfect for a big thread fan. Now for the stinger rig, you can either choose to put this in the back of the bait or you can allow it to just stay free and just hang back behind the bait or on the side of the bait. And a lot of times this will gill the fish or the kingfish and uh, it won't even enter the fish's mouth at all. So let me go ahead and show you. You do the same haywire twist, twist for your J hook and uh, let me show you how to do that. Go ahead and put my hook on. Let's put it on this way. Now slide this down here. Now you can see that obviously I could choose the size of my leader here. So all I'm gonna do now is go ahead, start my basic haywire twist. Create a loop. And then what you're gonna do, like before, is twist those wires together simultaneously. You're not twisting one on top of the other, you're twisting them together. So it should be nice and clean. And then straighten up your main wire and start four to five barrel rolls or wraps.
and that's that. Now that's a beautiful haywire twist right there. So make your little handle, L shape, rock it back and forth. Now this one's, there it goes. Nice and smooth, only took a few rocks. All right, and we should be here. So now I went ahead and cut off an additional uh, piece of wire, about a foot or so. And what you want to do, make sure when you're tying your hay wire twist, you're not tying it wire to wire. It should go into the eyelet of your hook, and that's going to help maintain the integrity of your rig, help prevent losses as well. So all you do is go ahead on the other side of your, your hook here, go ahead and put, run your wire inside the eyelet once again. So I got the wire in the eyelet of the hook, as you can see there. Just doing my barrel wraps. We got one last one to tie, and that's going to be the swivel. Let's do it. All right, got my swivel in on my leader here. And then you're just repeating the process. I tell you guys, you'll become a haywire expert after just a few of these rigs, I promise. It's really not too complex of a rig. Uh, some people make it out to be a little bit more complex than what it is. It's really a simple rig. I'm just rolling into my barrel rolls here. And you'll get some guys that do it differently, guys. Um, I'll tell you this, I've been using this for a long, long time, and I've never had one fail me. So now my swivel's attached down to my J hook. This could also be just another uh, treble hook, number four. So some guys just like treble and treble. I oftentimes like this, just because I, I, I find that the hook isn't hooking my fish in the head all the time and killing it. And then that runs to my stinger rig. And that's that rig, guys. Simple as one, two, three. Hey, 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 so that's it, guys. That's a wrap. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give a thumbs up, comment, and share. Hey, Kingfish will be invading the bay. We're waiting on that first cold front to reach uh, Central Florida. When it does, it's on like Donkey Kong. So again, guys, hit that thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you on the water.